know what you're thinking. How did this happen? Well, it's a long story. Okay, I don't know about you, but I had goosebumps the first time I saw that. We've seen Thor's hammer get shrugged off by some pretty tough baddies, but not stopped cold. I mean, it's Mjolnir, right? Whosoever holds this hammer, be they worthy, shall possess the power of Thor and all that. However, when the initial shock wore off, the engineer slash nerd in me started thinking. What did Hela just accomplish? We all know Mjolnir is pretty badass, but how badass? I decided to use SolidWorks simulation and find out. According to Sir Isaac Newton, there are two pieces of information needed for us to proceed, velocity and mass. So our quest starts with a little fact-finding via the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I would like to say that I watched the movies again to accomplish this, but that's not the case. I'll reference the nerd comment made earlier. We've seen Mjolnir break the sound barrier in movies, so we'll start with the speed of sound, which is approximately 13,000 inches per second, or 760 miles per hour. For the weight, the Owl Father himself provides us with that answer. Odin comments that Thor's hammer was forged from the heart of a dying star. In this case, we'll use the density of the sun's core at roughly 5 pounds per cubic inch. Now that we have all the information we need, we can get everything set up in SolidWorks. I won't bore everyone with all the details of the setup, but there are a few things to point out. The model is set up as a multi-body part with the hammer and a steel plate. We could use an assembly just as easily if we wanted. To analyze the problem, we use a nonlinear dynamic study. There are a couple of items to note in that setup as well. The first item is fairly obvious in the model. We have a circular split face where the hammer is impacting the steel plate. With this type of study, it is common to have to refine the mesh, and the split face allows us to do that only in the area needed. To represent the impact accurately, we do not want any bonded contact, so we remove the global contact and replace it with a no penetration contact set between the hammer and the steel plate. Aside from fixing the outside of the steel plate, we added an on-cylindrical faces fixture on the handle to keep the hammer square to the plate. We also specified an initial velocity for the hammer to generate our impact. Lastly, we created a custom material for the hammer with a higher material density. Both the velocity and the density were initially reduced from the high values mentioned earlier. We decided to ramp things up since we are dealing with some extreme forces. Unfortunately, because of the extreme nature of the forces we are using, the default settings for the study had to be adjusted. The initial set of changes included reducing the start time and max increment by a factor of 10, activating the large strain option, and increasing the max incremental strain from the advanced options. These changes allowed us to review the first set of results. As we can see, the first time step is after the initial impact and the hammer is rebounding from the plate. We used the probe tool in a response graph to determine the timing of the initial impact and adjusted our settings accordingly. Once we adjusted our time settings, we continued to increase the velocity and density of the hammer along with thickening the steel plate. The ramp up again prompted us to adjust the study settings. After all the changes, we reduced the initial time step to 10 microseconds and the max time increment to one thousandth of a second. At these speeds, it doesn't take long to flex the steel and rebound the hammer. The last change made was refining the mesh on the hammer to produce a smooth stress distribution. So how big a baddie is Hella? Very bad. As we can see, the max stresses on the hammer are measured in millions of PSI. Also, I would definitely want more than six inches of alloy steel between myself and Thor if I ever upset him. SolidWorks simulation was able to tackle a problem this big. Imagine what it can do in the real world. <laughs>